Breast augmentation is one of the most common procedures performed by plastic surgery practices here in the United States. Basically what it is entails is using a breast implant, which can be either silicone or saline. It's placed above or below the muscle on the chest to give a breast more volume, more fullness, uh, more shape in the upper pole, and basically increase breast size overall. Typically patients that we see that are interested in breast augmentation want to have a fuller, larger volume for their breasts. Now this could be due to one of several factors. Uh, it could be due to a patient just being born with a smaller chest that she feels insecure or uncomfortable with, wanting to fill out clothing, feeling more self-confident about external outward appearance. Also for some patients after they've had children, the soft tissue and skin laxity from the breast needs a little bit more volume to fill up again to replace the tissue that's shrunken after having a child and breastfeeding. Uh, but whatever the reason, it's really just dependent on the individual, what her goals are, what her desires are to look like with her breast shape. And there's no right or wrong reason. It's just the reason that a patient is concerned with that's gonna be best for her. So the consultation for any patient desiring breast augmentation first starts with our terrific patient coordinators. They're gonna spend a lot of time talking to you to figure out what is it that your goal is with respect to surgical results. They'll talk you through the operation, what it entails, some of the recovery, things that we want you to do after the operation in terms of getting up and walking around again, just so before you've even met with the physician, you have a really good understanding of what it means before, during, and after the operation in terms of what's gonna be expected and what things are gonna be like for you. When you have your consultation with one of the plastic surgeons, what I wanna do is again talk to you about what your goals are give ideas for what anticipated results will look like based on before and after photos of prior patients that have had the procedure. And we'll also do a physical exam. And during this physical exam, we're measuring your chest wall and looking at the skin and soft tissue quality so we can give you a best estimate of what we would recommend to get you a great result after the operation. Recovery for breast augmentation surgery is actually very straightforward and in many cases for our patients pretty comfortable to the point so where you'll be able to go and have dinner with friends or family the same night as the operation. We will give you some instructions in terms of limiting some of your physical activity and also you'll have some medication just to make sure that you're comfortable with the procedure afterwards. Swelling and bruising is usually very mild if there is any at all and most patients can find themselves getting back to their daily routines within just a couple weeks of the operation. Also for young mothers, don't be concerned. You'll be able to lift up your young children as soon as the next day after the operation. And you're gonna be up and moving and doing your normal activities very shortly after the procedure itself. Most patients are able to go back to work within just a few days of the procedure and you will be clear to drive and do your normal day-to-day -day activities, usually within just a few days. So patients often ask, how long should they expect to see the results of their breast implant surgery? And really, it's difficult to give a straight number year value for a couple of reasons. Number one, breast implants are not designed to be permanent devices, meaning that it's not unexpected or unusual for patients to have the breast implant taken out and replaced at some point over the course of the patient's life. Now, this could be for any number of reasons. A patient may decide she wants a larger breast size. She may decide she wants a smaller breast size. Uh, there could be changes to the skin and the soft tissue and the laxity of the breast that might require a patient to need a different breast procedure down the road. Another thing that I talk to patients about is some of the negative aspects that might need to have an operation, meaning if there is a scar around the implant that makes it uncomfortable or makes it look firm, that would also be another indication for the implant to be exchanged or another breast surgery to be performed. So where I hesitate to tell a patient an exact day, month, or year value, for how long they should see the implant or how long the implant results should be seen for them. More importantly, I say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. If you like the way the implant looks, if you like the way the implant feels, then keep going with it. If it gets to the point where it's uncomfortable or you desire a different look for the shape and size of your breast, then we can talk about doing a different procedure to get you happy with your results. So breast augmentation overall is a very safe and reliable procedure. It's one of the most common procedures performed for women by plastic surgeons, both in the United States and abroad, and it wouldn't be if it weren't a safe procedure. 
The safety of silicone implants has long been studied and proven in several well-respected journal articles by plastic surgery and general medical literature. And we're seeing more and more patients being able to have their implants without any complications for the life of the implant and the life of the patient. So overall, is it safe? Yes. And that's my primary concern for all my patients is number one, that you're safe and number two, that you're happy. And with a breast augmentation procedure, I feel very confident and very secure telling my patients that they'll be both safe and happy.